Hi, so today we're going to show you how to use the ANTS level editor. So uh, first thing you need to do is go to kg-games.com and then uh, you go to ANTS and go to editor. Okay, so the level editor is only available with the uh, paid version of the app. So um, it's not available using the free version, so just keep that in mind. Um, but if you do get the paid version, then you can use the level editor and make your own levels. Um, so here you can download the uh, Java or EXE version. Uh, we're going to download the Java version. It should be able to run. You can you should be able to run this on both um, Mac and Windows and Linux. Uh, I've never actually tried it on Linux, but um, that should work. All right, so um, you should be able to get this uh, jar file downloaded on your computer, and then you can double click on it. You may get uh, a message like this on a Mac if you try to run it, because it says you need to verify that you really want to run it. It's not some virus. So you need to go to your settings. So go to settings. Um, and then go to uh, security and privacy. And, oh, actually, not, not that one. Uh, go back to general. Uh, security and privacy, general. And then uh, say open ant editor jar anyway. Okay. And just say open. All right. There we go. Okay, so this is what the uh, editor looks like. Um, so I'll go over the different parts of the editor. Uh, right here is the main playing grid uh, where you'll, you'll actually be building your level. At the bottom is the uh, tool area where you can pick which items you want to put onto the grid. And uh, you have your menus up at the top. So you can save your file, or you save your uh, level to a text file. Um, you can toggle those crosshairs. Crosshairs are just to show you where the exact center is if you want to make a nice symmetrical level. Uh, you can uh, change the editor size so you can make the screen bigger or smaller. Um, and uh, when you do that though you do have to uh, quit the editor and then come back to get to see the new size. Uh, here we can now eh, well, we'll let you do that. Uh, you can, if you want to do a, a level with a lot of rocks, you can say clear the rocks and then you can start deleting those. Um, we'll just clear all and uh, uh, we'll get back to those. Uh, let's just start making a level. So here, these are the spawners. So the spawners, you can have uh, four different directions. You can have the ant spawn up, down, left, or right, and you can just put them down like this and uh, if you want to delete them you can do that too you can also drag uh, I guess you can't drag the spawners um, so let's just put uh, let's put a couple spawners at the top and a couple spawners at the bottom I'll leave that one there and put one here all right uh, rocks um, let's put a rock here so you can drag here the rocks and there's also an eraser tool here if you want to use that to erase you can do that um, these are all your anthills you have all the different colored anthills red blue green etc uh, let's put a red anthill here uh, let's put a white one over here okay um, and let's put you can put paint paint splotches down. So this is just going to be a random level with stuff kind of all over the place. Uh, let's put a few more ant hills. Let's let's do, put like four different colored ant hills. We'll put the same same ones as the splotches. Okay, uh, let's see over here. All right, you got your ant traps here. Um, so let's say we don't want uh, 
red ants come in this way, we can put this uh, ant traps there. And let's say, uh, let's just put this over here just for fun. <clears throat> all right, those are the ant traps. And then you have all your fixed arrows. So these are the arrows that the uh, player can't move. Um, so we'll just put a few down just to show you uh, how that works. All right. And then down here, you got your spiders. So these are the normal size spiders here, the two by two spiders. And then you've got the baby spiders, which are one by one. So let's put, let's put a big spider, let's say here. And then a baby spider will stick right there. All right. And so again, they, they have directions uh, up, down, left, right. And that just shows you uh, which direction they'll start moving when the game starts. All right, water. Uh, just put some water here just to make it look nice. And then maybe eh, we'll put some water here. So uh, when you put down water and rocks, um, they don't show up in the editor exactly how it's going to look uh, in the game. Because in the game, it'll actually um, merge them. So like this rock formation here will be merged into one rock. It won't show in six individual rocks in the game. Um, but it's term, in terms of playability, it's the same. Uh, all right, and then you have your leaves. And let's say we'll put a couple leaves here and there. And then their counterparts. Well, let's see, let's, let's put like a strip of water here and the leaf thing, let's say here. I don't know if any of this makes sense, but I'm just kind of showing you the idea. Tunnels, you can put down some tunnels uh, if you want. Um, uh, you don't need to, but uh, these are these are fixed tunnels. The, the user can't move them or remove them. Uh, and then some gems. Let's put a couple here, a couple here, and. Let's make a rock wall with some gem holes. Uh, let's say here. Uh, it doesn't make sense to put it right in front of the spawner, so I'll put it like here. There we go. All right, so those are all the different elements. Um, now, uh, let's go back to these menus. So the spawners. Um, you can specify what ants come out of those spawners. So you see the spawners are numbered one, uh, two, three, four. So uh, here are the patterns. These are the default patterns. Uh, the default pattern is you get 12 ants coming out of each uh, spawner in this order, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then repeating. Uh, but you can change that to whatever you want. So let's say for spawner one, we only want uh, let's say red, orange, uh, yellow, and green. Okay, and then we can just uh, copy that. So let's do that uh, three times. So you don't have to have 12 ants coming out though. You can have as many as you want. Uh, actually, there's probably an upper limit, but I don't remember what it is. Um, but uh, we can do, let's say, six there, and let's say another six here. Okay, so you can do whatever you want. And there we go. And then, so that's the spawner patterns. Um, then the limits is what's available to the player to use. So these are the default values for um, both the arrows and tunnels and also uh, how many ants can fit into each ant hill? So by default, all the ant hills have a limit of 12 ants each, and the arrows um, you get 20 white arrows and then five of each of the colored arrows, and no tunnels. Um, but let's see, we added some tunnels. So let's give them, let's say, let's give them two tunnels to work with, um, and let's say, uh, let's say 10 white arrows. And uh, let's say no, we don't. They don't need purple arrows, probably. Let's say no purple arrows. Nah, eh, we'll give them. We'll give them one. 
Uh, is that enough? No, they might they might need some. Uh, let's say four, four purple, four blue. Um, if you don't want them to have any particular color, you can just put zero. Uh, and then the anthills, let's say let's leave the white at 12, and then uh, we'll limit the red to, say, six, eh, maybe eight. eight. Just kind of making this up on the fly. Uh, actually, we don't have any purple uh, anthills. We can just set that to zero, and the same with blue. And okay, so those are our limits for the anthills. We have one, two, three, oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five anthills. And so those are our five limits, 12, 8, 8, 8, 8. Okay. Um, all right, so we set the spawner pattern, set the limits. Uh, we can save our level. So let's save as uh let's say test level txt so it's just a text file you can look inside it if you want um so right now uh there's no easy way for you to share your level with someone other than just uh mailing it to them or you know somehow transferring that that file um if you do make a level that you uh you like and you think it would be nice to have in the ants game itself you can Go to kg-games.com and send it to us. Just send us that the file. Um, all right. So and then you can you know you can open up any levels that you've created. All right. So how do you test your level? So uh, go to help and go to testing help, and that will show you your uh, your desktop computer's IP address. In this case, that's my IP address. Usually your IP address uh, will be something starting with 192 or 10, uh, and that's just your, your local IP address. So um, after you have this set up, you need to make sure your Roku is on the same uh, network as your computer, and so that it can access your uh, computer. So basically, you'll run the uh, ANTS uh, Pro program and uh, you can test the level from here. You need to keep your, uh, using using this IP address, I will show you how to enter that in uh, the Roku program, in, in, the, in the ANTS Pro program on the Roku. And uh, once you do that, then you can test this level. And, um, but you need to keep this editor uh, running while you're testing it. If you don't, then the, the, uh, the Roku won't be able to find the level, so. Leave that running. Um, I think that's all you need from here. Um, okay, so we'll go over to the Roku and uh, take a look at it from there. Okay, so here we are. I'm running Ants Pro on the Roku, and I'm going to show you how to test the level we just created. So first thing you need to do is go into your in the Help, and then find Settings, and then go to Editor. And here you enter in the IP address of your computer. So this was ours. Let's see, uh, it was 168.7116. Okay. Then we go back to the main menu and select test level. And there we go. There's our level. And uh, we can check out the spawners, make sure they're showing the right colors. So there's one of them with six, one of them with 12. And uh, this one here, I think we made with different colors. Um, nope, not that one. Uh, it must have been this one. Yep. So this one doesn't have the blue and purple. Um, and then you can see all the other elements and the spiders go in the directions we pointed them to. So we just hit play and hit play. Okay. Okay. So uh, if you do make a change to your uh, level, you can um, go to the menu and hit reload level. So um, you know if you change it on the computer, you can just reload it right here. Uh, you can also just hit the instant replay button. Uh, to do that and 
yeah, everything else is just, you know, normal gameplay. And you can test your level, make sure it's possible. And uh, then once it's ready to go, then you can uh, save it off. And uh, you can, if you like it, you can send it to us. And we can uh, possibly make it a bonus level in uh, either Ants or the Ants Fun Pack. So that's how you uh, can test your levels. So uh, hopefully that'll help you make some really cool levels. And I look forward to seeing them. All right. Thanks for watching.